Hello everyone. I hope all of you are doing fine. I'm slightly under the weather but I still thought of creating an amazing video today so that you can access ChatGPT with Python. If you are kind of following the data science ecosystem then I'm pretty sure you would have heard of ChatGPT by now. ChatGPT has taken the entire data science community with storm and in today's video I'll show you how you can integrate ChatGPT with Python. So without wasting any further time let's kick start the video. I happened to discover this amazing GitHub repository created by Terry3041 that helps you integrate ChatGPT with Python. So all due credit to the author I link the exact URL of the GitHub repository in the description section of the video feel free to show your love by starring and forking the repository. Now I'll show you how you can use this amazing repository in order to use ChatGPT along with Python. So now let's kick start the video on Google Colab. Let me start by connecting and creating a session on Google Colab. Now that I have a session up and running on Google Colab, let me go forward and firstly install PyChatGPT, which is the library that you'll be utilizing to interact with ChatGPT along with Python. So let me quickly install that. So the way I would do that is pip install minus q pi chat gpt. Now that the installation is done, all I have to do is import the chat gpt library from pi chat gpt. So the way I would do that is from pi chat gpt import chat gpt so this is the first import that is required now the only thing that you require is a session token all you have to do in order to get the session token is create an account on the openai's official website once you log in you can easily download the session token which is something that i'll show you in the video so hang in with me for the entire piece so that you can see the magic of python along with chat gpt when i'm recording the video currently the entire access to chat gpt is free in the future if there is a paid version of chat gpt this entire solution may or may not work so if you happen to watch this video in the future please refer to the open ai's strategy of how they are going to use chat gpt in the future now in order to get a session key all you have to do is you have to create an account on the open ai's website so this is something that i've already done i'll quickly log in so i'll press login once you log in this is the chat gpt interface all you have to do is go to inspect inside inspect you have to go to application in the application section you have to go to cookies in cookies you have to go to chat.openai.com and this particular value that you see the secure next auth dot session token you just have to take this copy the entire token and use it in the session variable so what i'm doing is i'm doing control a control c so later i'll utilize this in the python section of the code now i'll create a variable called as session underscore token and I'll paste whatever I've just copied from the previous section. So this is my session token. Now I'll create a variable called as API and I'll say API is equal to chat GPT. I'll pass in the session token that I've created. My connector is up and running. The only thing that I now have to do is I have to create a variable called as response. I'll say API dot send underscore message and now I'll ask something to chat GPT. So let me say uh, explain data science in a philosophical manner. So I've sent this entire piece to chat GPT. 
and I'm awaiting a response. I have the response ready. Now if I have to read the response, all I have to do is print response of message. And here is my output that is generated from chat GPT. So data science is a field that involves using scientific methods. If I want to read it in a more refined manner, I can use pprint. So from pprint import pprint and now if I say pprint, I can read it in one go itself. So this is what chat GPT has returned. So yeah, it looks really amazing. Like data science is a field that involves using scientific methods, processes and systems. At its core, data science is a philosophical pursuit as it seeks to understand the world around us by examining the data that is generated by our activities and interactions. So this itself is really deep in terms of uh, the philosophy that it's trying to generate. Uh, overall, chat GPT is worth the the amount of attention that it's getting. Um, since I've spoken about attention, let me also try to understand what and how attention works. So let me play around with chat GPT more now that I have like a uh, integration with Python and chat GPT set up. So let me change the input here. So can you explain uh, key values and query in attention to a layman? So this is the output that it has shared. It says sure in a transformer the attention layer is a mechanism that allows the model to focus on specific parts of the input. So for example when you input a sequence like this and queries in simple terms are key say a reference point. So it's doing a fabulous job in terms of explaining uh, different aspects of attention. So if I say uh, please explain Google's bot model to a layman. Let's see the response for this as well. Now that the response is ready, uh, here is what chat GPT has to say. Sure, I'd be happy to help. Google's bot model is a type of artificial intelligence that is used to understand the process, uh, understand and process natural language. It gives out the various information that's related to BERT. So overall, I think chat GPT is doing a fabulous job. And now that I have a connector, uh, I would urge you to play around with chat GPT along with Python and uh, yeah, uh, show your creative side, play around with chat GPT and try to generate as many cool exercises or uh, say things that you can do with uh, machine learning using this amazing uh, revolution that that's generated by OpenAI. So uh, yeah, I'm kind of excited to see where ML is approaching and this is all that I wanted to share in today's video. So thank you. Thank you so much for watching the video and uh, please make it a point to subscribe to my channel for more such amazing videos on data science, machine learning and Python. Thanks again for watching the video. Thank you.